last night in Philly. She called me this morning. And they told them how to make money, how they could do a ritual to, uh, let me see, let me see the, the, the God. Let me get this right. Which would be equivalent to, remember now, any God you can cross-reference to, uh, any God you can cross-reference to, um, uh, I think it's Azuli. No, hold on, let me see. That would be Oshun. Yes, see. Uh, let me let me let me just look down here for yeah, my uh, Roger. Hold on. Azuli, Edoedo, Ogufarelli, Oshingo. It's Azuli. Azuli. That would be Oshun. So it's either Azuli or Oshun. One of the two. O o Azuli, Oshun. What should that be in ISIS? What should that be in, in um, Egypt? I said, uh, uh, Hetheru. Hetheru. Hathar Hetheru. So it's, 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 or Oshun, Erzuli, or um, Hetheru. But so, since this is Bodan, I would rather you to put Oshun and Erzuli. I want you to put those two. Because we don't know what, I think it was coming from the Bodun, which we know Bodun and them was hand in hand, but I would rather for you to put both of them and rather leaving two of them out. Because you call in the names. It, it means the same person, but I would just say put both of them. So it's, it's dealing with, uh, 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 so Hathar would also be the heavenly Mary for those people that stuck in Christianity or whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's, there's, there's the earthly Mary that has the baby, and then there's the heavenly Mary, which would be, uh, basically, Sophia. Uh, Newt. It's all the same thing. One thing about the goddesses, they're all intertwined. You can't, you can't really say one without the other when you really talk about it. Because it's all oneness. It's the same thing. It's all oneness. It's like 99 attributes of Allah. It's the same thing. So, uh, uh, so what the deal is, and that's one reason why Christianity is such a, a slave religion for the simple fact it does not give you your attributes that you can use to, to actually spiritually help yourself like Islam does with the 99 attributes as well as um, um, all other religions give you the attributes that they, Christianity just tell you to be subservient to some particular God that is, that's going to kill you and my point is, is I want to say this one thing. My point is, is this, you got to be a, you really got to be an insecure person to want a whole world to worship you and be up under you and they don't even get no fruits of the kingdom, not unless they worship you and be subservient to you. That's really the devil. If you God and you created something, why would you be so insecure, insecure of the creation of the thing that you created when you got the blueprints of creation? But that lets you know that that one doesn't have the blueprints of creation because he only created a shell for bondage, but she put the original Adam down here anyway that is above him. You see, it's a concept what you say. So now. She said you get, so you're going to, this is what you do. She said you have to go and you have to buy two pieces of parchment paper. Two pieces of parchment paper. You take those two pieces of parchment paper and you write on both pieces of paper your bills and everything that you need money for. You see what I'm saying? Everything that you need money for. I would say basically be moderate or be, um, yeah, be moderate when you do these things and all. Ask for what you need and not no dream shit. <laughs> and don't ask for no kind of stuff of some foolishness. You know what I'm saying? So ask for what you need and stuff, you see. Um, like that and all. So don't ask them to give you a damn career in singing or some other dumb junk. Or give you a million dollars so you can act a fool and, and be like RuPaul and the rest of them crazy fools out there. So what you're going to do is, is um, so the first thing you're going to do is, is you're going to uh, get the two pieces. You're going to list all your bills on the parchment paper. You're going to take one of the paper and you're going to put honey on one piece. And you're going to fold it up and you're going to put it, that's Oshun, right? Yeah, or, 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 or Zuli. And you're going to fold it up and you're going to put it in the, in a paper bag. Then you're going to tie that paper bag in a string at the top. And for some kind of reason, you're going to take that string and you're going to either put a thumbtack or you're going to tape it up under your table. Whatever table you got, whether you got a kitchen table, end table, or whatever kind of table. 
You got what I'm saying? You put it up under your table. If you got a, if you ain't got no, you got a bar in your house, put it wherever you put some. Put it up under a table and let that bag hang down. The other piece you're gonna take and you're gonna put it on on the altar, on the altar, or on a shelf or anything. You know what I'm saying? And you're gonna put a pink candle on it and burn it. And basically, this they say the disposal just give you everything you need. And this is they say it's a real good one coming from. I mean, these people had to come in there and spend ten dollars just to get this ritual from some sister that that, that 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 went to Haiti to get this particular ritual. So you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, so 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 you bear witness that the stuff and all, cause you know. Oh, shoot. So those people who need to. How many people need to spell Oshun right? Okay, and Azuli is. Uh, let me get. Okay. <coughs> I didn't. What was it? E R V. What's that? And that's the particular ritual on that. Uh, uh, on, on that particular thing. So that's so that's all you have to do. And basically, I'm gonna tell you. Basically, with people that's doing stuff for the first time, basically it works. It works. It, and everybody, I told the four penny ritual too about going to a crossroads on Monday, and putting four pennies on each corner of the each four pennies on this corner, put four pennies on this corner, four pennies on this corner, on each corner of the crossroads, and asking Legba or Elegba for financial lead. It usually works about a week after, but everybody used to do that, and it actually did work. You know, did it work for you too? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Two hundred uh, uh, four pennies. Well, no, that'd be sixteen pennies, right? Because you gotta put four pennies on each corner. Of a crossroad on Monday and ask Elegba or Legba, that's Elegba in Europe, Elegba in Vodun, and you ask them for financial lead. Uh, financial lead. Huh? Did you spell it Elegba for him? E L E G B A. Yeah, E L E. Yeah, that's and, and ask them that and stuff. And that, and that, um, that. That usually that usually work. My brother used to do these things, and he he would go and try to get these loans and stuff, and and he you know the loan don't be no more than like two hundred dollars, and he say go to the people and say I want five thousand, and the woman say I can't give you that, but then she'll end up giving him a thousand for something that he that that that, that I think uh, something like a old beat up piece of car that was only two 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 hundred dollars he was supposed to get back. She give him a you know she give him no she gave him like two thousand dollars, so he used to work them to death. Um, they stop working when that's all you about. That's when they stop working. You just doing rituals to get money. You don't give a damn about nothing, and you start doing rituals like that. That's when they stop working for you. What's that? Right. So that means that is true. And see the. She, the, the sister, the woman in um, the Bodun priestess might have gave that, but the sister, when she called me, she didn't know that I got to call her back because that is right. Um, now, unless you're dealing with Obatala, everybody, and, and even, even him, and even he, he is what, Tuesday? 